this is really like, rather like being in a submarine. You know that, Jack? Yes. But of course, actually, we're beneath the stage in the cinema's air conditioning plant. And here it is where I come across that bottle of smog. I'm not just very deep smog. Look at this. Well, now, standing beside me here is Jack Gregory, who's the cinema's chief engineer. And uh, I understand that you've been the chief engineer here for 16 years. Is that right? Well, now, this came from the big fog of last January. And uh, how did you collect this, Jack? Uh, from this compartment here. It's where we washed the air before it entered the cinema. And the slide was collected from the tank at the bottom. Oh, well, that's right. Of course, coming to the cinema to get fresh air. But, of course, what happens is that uh, all the filth is extracted from the air and fresh ozone is pumped in. Is that right? Yes. Well, now, where does all that take place? Uh, just down here with the air driving plant. Right. Well, 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 what have you got here, Jack? Well, after the air has been washed, yes. we pass it through this ozone plant. Very small, pleasant smell of ozone there is still. Uh, as you know, the London air is not only dirty, but also smells. Yes. <laughs> and we have very many good odors. Such as what? Um, the electric square, there's quite a number of restaurants around here, and you can get some sort of steak and onions. By using this plant, we kill it before it enters the air into the air. Oh, well, presumably you can perfume the air with any aroma you like. Yes, um, for instance, when we show the film, the title is Lonesome Pine, yes. the place is not only sure that it's pine, mm -hmm. but we put in pine paint and we put off the pine. You know, that, that conjures up a lot of interesting possibilities. <laughs> anyway, uh, this filters all the steak and onions and the rest and pumps out over. Now, what else do you look at? Well, we have the heating system yeah. and the boiler room that's through this door. My word, the temperature is rising in here. So these are the things to keep the customers warm, are they? That's right. These three gas boilers mm -hmm. heat the theatre. And in the summer, we have a refrigeration plant. Yes. Which uh, is the only one of its kind in Europe. Is that so? Yes. Uh, and next to the refrigeration plant, we have yeah. a temperature gauge. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, at a flip of a switch, we can tell the temperature in any part of the theatre. Uh, and uh, incidentally, we keep it up every hour so that the the comes oh, up to the patron. Yes, well, that's very nice to know. Uh, tell me, with this, uh, with these terrific furnaces here, you must run up an enormous gas bill. Oh, yes. We use very big pennies. Take a little bit of this. In here? Yes, in there. Well, that's... Well, that's Blimey, I see what you mean by it. Very large pennies. Okay. Ready, Tom? Okay. Um, now, among this maze of machinery and pipelines, I was beginning to forget I was in a cinema at all until Jack Gregory took me back onto more familiar ground. On the way up to this stage, we looked in on the organ chamber, a fantastic cavern of 1,500 organ pipes of every shape and size. John Howlett, the organist here, whom BBC listeners have heard broadcasting from this cinema many times, was busy tuning one of the pipes. So we left him to it and went on up more stairs to the stage itself. One wall is covered by a mass of curtain rope used during stage shows. Each rope is so delicately counterbalanced that one man can easily haul up one of these heavy curtains without assistance. And the giant screen itself the size of a tennis court and over two tons in weight can be lifted up into the flies by two men. 50 feet wide and 24 feet high, the screen has secrets you'll never notice from the stall. You know, the thing that puzzles me, Jack, is how you manage to pass the sound to what appears to be an almost horrid screen. The sound comes through this speaker, which is in the centre of the screen. But when we're showing films with stereo and sound, two other speakers, one on either side of the screen, yes. come into action. I see, and gives the impression of moving sound. That's right, yeah. That's right. It's all right out talking while we, uh, yeah, the audience... Right, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you can see how the sound gets through the screen. Oh, yes, yeah. but you see the audience through here. The surface is perforated with thousands of small holes. In fact, it looks rather like a fine lace curtain. But don't worry, the audience can't see you. Oh, good. They look pretty comfortable to me. Mm. Well, your side of things is running as smoothly as ever. And thank you, Jack, for letting us have a look around. You're welcome.